Okay, this is also standard 5.2, and we're going to look at behavioral adaptations. Okay, so the first word that we need to define is adaptation. An adaptation is a characteristic that improves an individual's ability to survive and reproduce. The, word, the next word that we need to define is behavioral adaptation. Behavioral adaptation is how an animal acts or behaves that helps it survive. Okay. Next word we have is innate. And the word innate is something that if you have an innate characteristic, okay, it's something that you're born with, all right? Um, so it is inherited through genes, okay? And an example of this, or two examples, let me give you two examples. One example would be like bees being able to fly, bees flying, and fish swim, okay? They're born with the ability to know how to do this, okay? All right, now if the first, uh, put the first letter of your first name in the upper left-hand corner. Again, that's first letter of first name in the upper left-hand corner. Okay, so now that we've talked about innate, now we need to talk about uh, learned traits, okay? And we get learned traits by observing others or through experience, all right? So our examples here that we have, would be a dog fetching, okay? You have to teach it how to do that. Or also, for us humans, it's the language that we speak, all right? Those are both learned. So innate is something that you're born with, your ability that you're born with, and learned, of course, you learn by observing others or through experience, okay? The next word we need to talk about is migration. And migration is when you have an animal, okay, or a group, and I mean group of animals, that move from one region to another and then back again. Now, there's several reasons why animals migrate. Um, most often it's because we think of what temperature, correct? Also, animals can migrate to find food, uh, to return to where they were born. Sometimes, often, they even have their offspring at this location. And, believe it or not, but they will migrate for safety. Okay? Well, the next word we have is hibernation. And hibernation is a period of inactivity in which an animal's body temperature, heart rate, and breathing rate slows dramatically. Okay? And the reason why they do this is so that they can to conserve energy. So there is your definition of hibernation. The next word that we have to define is estivation. And estivation is a period of inactivity in the summer. And this is um, happens at hot, dry places. Okay, because we always think about hibernation always being, you know, we think of um, like the black bear in colder climates going and hibernating, okay, and we're thinking about, you know, lowering their body temperature and their heart rate and everything during the cold period. Well, estivation in, is the same idea except that it happens uh, in very hot, very dry places. All right. Now, if your last name starts with the letters A through J, put a smiley face in the bottom right-hand corner. 
If your last name starts with K through Q, put a star in the bottom right-hand corner. If your last name starts with R through Z, put a square box in the bottom right-hand corner. Okay, go ahead and flip your fun sheet over to the back. Okay, for each one of these, I want us to name it, and you can see I have um, on your fun sheet, it says name, semicolon. Okay, so this is a puffer fish, and now we're going to uh, list what adaptation it has here, okay? And it has artificial... bigness. All right. All right. The puffer fish, um, feels threatened. So he blows himself up to appear bigger, um, and just look meaner or tougher. Okay. Uh, so this is an adaptation for him, hopefully to scare off some predators. All right. The next animal that we have here is a prairie dog. Okay. All right. Put that above the picture. Underneath the picture, we're going to put the adaptation. Okay, and the adaptation here is a behavior in which the uh, prairie dog uh, burrows, all right? And this is to keep out of the hot sun. Right. So the prairie dog burrows into the ground, all right? Gets underneath the soil level, and it's so he can stay cool, okay? Next, we have the wildebeest. And on this picture, we have several wildebeest. All right, so what does the wildebeest do? In this picture, you can see that they travel in herds in search of food, and they also do it for safety reasons, okay? All right, so that is an adaptation, actually traveling in a herd. All right, next we have a sea turtle, species of sea turtle, all right here. And this little guy, what I'm going to show here is that he returns to the same place each year on shore to lay her eggs. Right. If you have Miss Brule's, um, circle the wildebeest picture. Go back and circle the wildebeest picture. All right, now, next we have a possum, and yes, it is spelled with an O, okay? A possum, and when it becomes frightened, it plays what? Dead. You ever heard the saying, are you just playing possum? When somebody's acting like they're asleep and they're really not, okay? Well, possum actually plays dead. All right, all right. This is a rabbit. Believe it or not, a rabbit has an adaptation. What it is, is it doesn't move when it thinks it's been seen, okay? So it tries to hold still, thinking that if it's a predator, that if it holds really, really still, that it's not going to see it or chase after it, okay? Next, we have a Maho Mojave, excuse me. Rattlesnake. Of course, these are found in the Maho uh, Mojave Desert. I'm struggling there. It's okay, though. All right. Um, and let's talk about its adaptation. Okay. Its adapta adaptation, excuse me, is that it's nocturnal, which means it's active at night. All right. So if it's active at night, what's it doing during the day? It rests during the day. Okay, that is an adaptation, nocturnal. Right. Last and not least, oh, also, if you have Miss Gunner, circle the picture of the rabbit, please. If you have Miss Gunner, circle the picture of the rabbit. All right, <clears throat> here we have a colony of penguins. Like the wildebeest. Uh, the wildebeest travel in herds, but um, when we talk about penguins, we talk about them in a colony, and they often huddle very close together for warmth 
and for safety. All right. This is SPI 5.2, and we're looking at behavioral adaptations.